Let's talk about imaging the planets during this eclipse on the ecliptic. There's going to be seven planets on the ecliptic during this eclipse, but most of them are going to be too dim to worry about. But Venus and Jupiter are going to be bright and spectacular. Mars and Saturn will be dim and low. So you can frame Venus during this eclipse really nicely. It's going to be almost uh, a minus four magnitude. Um, it's separated by about 15 degrees in the sky, so you can frame it with a 100 millimeter lens. Um, Jupiter will be fun to frame also. It's um, separated by 29 degrees on the ecliptic, um, so you can frame it with about a 50 millimeter lens. You can get all of them the, together with about a 40 millimeter lens, but of course they would be very small. But you can frame these planet shots. I've done it, and we're going to talk about it in a minute. The other thing is this comet 12P Pons Brooks is going to be in the sky during this eclipse. And there's a lot of buzz about this. So it's going to be about 24 degrees from totality and about six degrees from Jupiter. Right now, it's predicted to be magnitude five, but there's people are predicting it could get brighter up to magnitude 3.5. That's the Magnitude five is dim for this portion of the sky during an eclipse. Because remember, eclipse is not like a nighttime sky. It's dark right around the corona, but then it starts to get gray and lighter gray pretty quickly. So this, this comet, it's not going to be lo located in really dark uh, conditions, but it might be worth trying to see with binoculars. It'll be hard to image for a couple of reasons. So this is my experience with imaging planets during an eclipse. In 2001, Jupiter was up there. It was visible to the naked eye. It was separated by from totality by five degrees, and it was magnitude minus 1.93, so it was bright. But you see, to image it, I still had to overexpose the corona a little bit. And then in 2002, Mercury was up there. You all basically can't see it. It was magnitude uh, minus 0.64. And I really had to overexpose the corona to image it, and you couldn't see it naked eye. So this comet at magnitude 5 is going to be tough. And if you try to image it with the corona, you will definitely have to blow out your corona. So I think I'm going to try to image it by imaging Jupiter and the comet at the same time, because I think the exposures will be more matched.